burn so sweet. Love for you when you speak, it makes me weak. But I refuse to weep. Yet when I sleep, I feel tears trickling down my cheek. Come on, stay strong. Pride telling me move on. My heart's fighting me. This is the coolest breakdown. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Now, if you like content like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe and like button for me. So I'm going to break down the forgotten story of Kobe Bryant's rap career. <laughs> now, let's get to it. In his younger days, Kobe and his high school friends formed an underground rap group called Chainsaw. Drawing inspiration from the legendary rap group, Wu-Tang Clan. Now this group was made of mostly underground battle rappers. And while Kobe, who was hooping for the varsity squad as a freshman at Lower Marion at the time, added more of a poetic um, energy to the rap group. Now, when Kobe wasn't in the gym, he was moving around with his crew, battling other crews. So Kobe was drafted in 1996, and by the 1999 season, the Kobe and Shaq Lakers dynasty was starting to begin. And in that same year, music executive Steve Stout heard Kobe rap one night at a studio session and signed Kobe and his crew with the hopes that the group just fades and we can just get a Kobe record. Now, while Kobe was becoming a superstar on the court, he was also attempting to becoming the same thing in the music game. He was quietly working on a solo album with Sony Records. He was collaborating with hot R&B acts like Brian McKnight and remixing Destiny Child's smash hit Say My Name to help create momentum for himself. Now his co-superstar teammate Shaquille O'Neal actually gave Kobe an alley-oop and put him on his own album titled Respect in September of 1998. The song was called 3X is Dope. Kobe can be heard at the beginning. However, his name wasn't listed on the credits. Maybe this was just to surprise the listener. And his verse was pretty dope too. My lyrical damage derives from mental mechanics. With the mic in hand, I'm a mortal to you, man. My diaphragm allows me to kill a whole clan. Verse for verse, you'll get your verse reverse. Battle rhyme since fair and midair and change course. Now, the lead single featuring Tyra Banks for his album titled Visions was released in January 2000 to go along with the performance at All Star Weekend, where he actually performed a verse while speaking Italian. <laughs> now, after seeing Shaq go platinum, Steve Stout and the record label expected the same success with Kobe's music. However, the lead single with Tyra Banks didn't quite connect with listeners which then caused the label to completely shelf the album as a whole. And as time went on, the Visions album earned a mythical status. In May of 2021, his Visions album was leaked to the public by a Twitter account that was known for leaking unreleased music. Now the public viewed this as a gift because we received music from a basketball legend and sports icon. This shows just how talented and skilled the Black Mamba was. The memories he left us with will never be forgotten. Now, if you like content like this, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share. <laughs> I'm out. Peace.